Hey there, it's Michael Creasy here, the executive editor with Agent Inner Circle from agentinnercircle.com. Welcome to this week's episode, and man, am I excited. We're going to be looking at a video that was submitted by Lily Ruge, who is a Keller Williams agent from Niagara Falls, Ontario. Be sure to send her your referral, referrals. And she was kind enough to send this video to me for a review. And I thought, wow, what a brilliant way for you to learn how to make your videos better. So I'm going to play this video and make stops along the way and suggestions as to what she could do to make it better so she'll learn and so will you so let's get started first thing you'll see here you've got her logo in the corner getting to know our niagara community so i'm assuming that's the theme and she's got her branding on the bottom right hand corner which makes the video compliant which is good now thumbnail this is what this is called it's a thumbnail image it's the first image that appears in a video if you upload a video to youtube this is super super important because youtube helps rank uh, in, in SEO, your thumbnail images. It also separates your video from the others, the thousands of other videos that appear. So you want to make sure that you've got something compelling here, like a hook, a headline that's going to pull the viewer in right away. So I'm assuming getting to know our Niagara community is the overall theme here in a series. But what I need to know is what is this episode? So you need a compelling headline that will pull people in. The other thing is we identify by seeing other people's faces. You've heard of facial recognition. Well, humans, the way we're wired is exactly the same thing. So I would like to see Lily here in the shot imposed somewhere either on top of the you know Niagara Falls, which would be cool because it's re-supporting re her theme. But I also want that headline. So once again, I want to see her face. I want to see a compelling headline that pulls me in. And again, this is the thumbnail image. So let me hit play. And then uh, let's see what else she's got going on here. So let me pause right here. So, okay, she's identifying what this episode is about. She's saying, hey, I'm interviewing Rick Carter, Williams Fresh Cafe. Okay, cool. I like that. Same thing. I'd be looking for something more compelling that's going to hook me in. Something like a uh, brand new business owner in Niagara or one of the best coffee places in Niagara. You got to check it out. But something that's going to hook me to make me more interested in what the topic is. And again, I would have the title or that captivating headline at the very beginning in that thumbnail image. I like that she's got music here. Let's play it a bit more and see what else happens. Hi there. This is Lily Ruji, and I'm from your Niagara Realtors. Today, I have with me, in Niagara's Community Spotlight, Rick Carter from Williams Fresh Cafe. Hey, Rick. Okay, so let me pause it right now. So it's kind of awkward sitting in a booth, and I get it. She's trying to do kind of a 60-minute version or 60-minute style of uh, an interview. Let me just go back a bit here. Now, notice Lily is not looking at us, and this is really important. If you want to make your videos engaging, the audience or the viewer has to make it feel, or you have to make them feel like you're speaking to them. One person, one on one. Now, if you look at Rick here, Rick's looking right into the lens of the camera. Lily is looking at her reflection in the, the camera monitor. And this is a classic mistake that uh, agents make starting out. So it's very important that you look into the lens of your camera and the lens is that little dot. So look into the lens, not your own reflection. If you wanna make your videos more compelling, that's what you need to do. Now, I like the fact that here, bottom left-hand corner, she has uh, Rick's uh, name and uh, Williams Fresh Cat that's pretty cool. Let's play it and keep going. Hey Rick. Hi, how are you? I'm great, thanks. Uh, Rick is the new franchise owner at Williams Fresh Cafe at Thorold Stone in Dorchester and the address is? Thorold 25 Dorchester. <laughs> Uh, Rick is a fairly new franchisee. So let me pause that. That's good. She's got the address there. Um, she's pulling him into the interview, which is good. I, and I like the fact that she's looking at him and talking. This is a different style than what you see on TV. If you think about 60 Minutes, the people on camera hardly ever will look at you, the audience. They look at themselves when they're doing um, uh, an interview. For video online though, I find it is more compelling when the audience, you as the audience member is the third person in the room. So when you're recording your videos, you wanna pretend that the viewer, the person that's gonna be watching your video is sitting there with you. So it becomes a three-way dialogue. I would be looking at Rick, and then I'd be looking at the camera, which is you. Now, I like the fact that she's got the address here. That's great. I'd probably put a map over top to show me where in Niagara this coffee shop actually is. But let's play a bit more. Here, and he's got a really interesting story about how he became one. So it started off with 
Well, a couple of years ago, I stopped by for a cup of coffee because I had never been here before. Mm -hmm. I was very impressed with the location. So let me stop that. I'm going to go back just a bit. Now, I like the fact that she's got an image here. She's showing the coffee. But you know what would be more powerful? Not a cup of coffee or, or, or in this case, um, you know, a can of coffee. Show us what's happening in the audience. Well, not the audience, in the actual restaurant. And that's called B-roll footage. So if you're going to do an interview type style of uh, video, make sure you shoot like 10 second clips of the outside, 10 second clips on the inside, because what you'll do with those little clips, when you're editing the video, you add them to your video to create a story. Those bits and pieces, which are called B-roll footage, will actually add to your video to make it more compelling and enhance the story that you're trying to tell. Let's play a bit more. I was very impressed with the location, the service, the ambiance. So I considered uh, taking out an, uh, a new franchise. Awesome. I contacted head office and um, came here to talk with the franchise owner, just find out what it was, uh, what owning a Williams franchise was like. He uh, told me that his franchise was coming. Okay, so I'm going to jump ahead a bit. Let's see if there's some other stuff. So, you know, it, it's a good, compelling story. She's got good music in the background. I would probably lower the volume of the music because it's kind of hard to hear over top of them, uh, especially with the noise in the background. But let me scrub ahead a bit. Okay, you know, there, she's doing a good job. She's talking to him. Okay, but I'm looking for something. There we go. Let me go back and I'll play it from here. At a booth and yes. talk for as long yes. as you like. Yes. Uh, we have a meeting room that anyone can book for free. Okay, so let me stop that part. So again, she's using images. I'm not too keen on these zooming in effects with images. You see this? Okay, the zooming in thing. Now it's great that she's adding an image, but again, you've got a video camera. B-roll footage is the best because we get pulled into the story because we're watching a video. We want to see more video. So remember, when you're doing this style of interview or even when you're doing virtual tours and you're talking, make sure you shoot B-roll footage, again, which are 10 second to 15 second clips that you can use when you edit this video over top to make your story more compelling. Let's play a bit more here. Yeah. It'll hold up to 23 people, and uh, so you can have a private party. Awesome. Um, I'm constantly getting compliments on our uh, our food, uh, our sandwiches, our salads. Uh, why? So again, let me stop that. So he's talking about the food and salad. You know, again, I would love to see. Uh, video clips of the food that they have there, um, highlighting, you were talking about salads. So again, B-roll footage complementing what the story is about. Now, can you use images? Absolutely you can, but I would use images that support what they're talking about. So he's talking about uh, salads, whatever, I would have pictures of the salad. And I would take up the full frame and I would zoom in on that one image as opposed to having it come on screen and reduce like she's doing here. I'd have the full frame and then zoom in on a specific spot. Let me play a bit more here. Um, wide variety of hot and cold drinks. Now, let me stop the video again. Now, it's good framing that, uh, you know, the two of them are here, they're in a booth, and as I said at the beginning, it's kind of hard to feel comfortable when you're sitting beside somebody you don't know. Now, what I would also like to see is the fact that you've got two of them here. Within the video editing software, you can zoom in on one person, so Lily asks him a question and then they could zoom in on him answering the question and then zoom back to her. Uh, two shot, one shot, two shot. Now, understand that when people are watching a video, we're, we get uh, pretty bored easily. There has to be something that happens every 15 to 20 seconds to re-engage us in the video. And when we see motion, when we see something happen, our brain goes, hey, what did I just miss? And it pulls us back into the video. So in this case, what I would do, and I'll show you here in the video shot, you see the two of them are framed. Well, in my editing software, now what I'll do is I'm going to zoom in on Rick, and he's going to talk a bit, and then I'll pan out and we'll see two of them. So here's what happens. And I make sure my staff are friendly. And they are. They are, definitely. So if you haven't been to this location, you definitely need to give it a try. They have free Wi-Fi, great coffee. So let me stop there. So that's a fairly simple effect where I'm zooming in on one, per one person. So it looks like I have multiple cameras doing the same thing. So it's a shot on him, then it's a shot on her, and then it's a shot on both. But that's all being done in the editing software. And it's kind of a sleight of hand with editing. Now, let me scroll to the end here. 
Okay, good. She's talking again. We got to make sure that Lily looks into the camera. You've got to make sure you look into the camera too. And what do we have here? A flash of something. Okay. And let's go right here to the call to action. And I like this. So she's putting her phone number here. It's a call to action. Who should we spotlight next week? I love that because it's engaging the viewer to make suggestions. And here's the one thing. When business owners see other business owners being showcased, they'll want to be in this. And the other thing to remember too, this video will be shared by everyone that that business owner knows. So now you're tapping into their social media network. Brilliant, Lily. I love what you've done here. Uh, overall, on a scale of uh, one to 10, I got to give you, you know, seven and a half here by making some of these uh, suggestions that I made you're going to knock this out of the park with a 10. Awesome awesome job Lily thanks for submitting it once again I hope you found some wisdom out of this that will make your videos better give us a big like give us a share find Lily on Facebook and say thank you take care